What's up guys, Video Gamester here, and today we're just going to be talking about No Man's Sky. I don't actually have a script for this, so I'm winging it. Well, I never usually have a script. I actually don't think I've ever had a script, so scratch out the usually part, but anyways. So yeah, this game came in the mail uh, a few days ago, and I'm extremely satisfied with it. Extremely satisfied, but not completely. So as you see here, like planets take minutes to get to. Unless you use uh, whatever that is, pulse drive. Planets really are planet sized, by the way. But the only reason I'm not extremely satisfied with it is because the idea of this game is really to just go to different planets and play Minecraft and then fly to another planet and kind of play Minecraft. You know, like basically mine to get a better ship or suit or multi tool. Basically, that's it. Uh, nothing special about it, but the I, the the way that this game is presented, like the idea is okay, but the way the game presents the idea is wonderful. So there's so many different planets. I looked on the map, and I flew straight for about two minutes. I'm like, wait, I'm getting lost here. I need to go back, and there was no end. I flew straight for two minutes on the map, which is like, I don't know. It's it's extremely zoomed out. I think I'll sh I'll put something on the screen of the map right now of how big it is. But yeah, it's extremely zoomed out and it's it's still I still it, I I couldn't stop seeing planets. It was great. The the way they made this game was incredible. As you can see the animals here are completely procedurally generated because they look really really weird. Uh and so is the music. I don't want have any music right now. Maybe you'll hear it in the background, but yeah, the visuals of this game pretty incredible most about it is pretty incredible the thing is I'm just like okay well I'm doing kind of the same things all over again I'm just going to different planets getting plutonium and thamium 9 and stuff there isn't a story to no man's sky but there are a bunch of objectives it doesn't show you on the screen right now but on the bottom right there's usually an objective that says for me most of the time it said build uh, build warp drive so I finally built warp drive, and that's how I got to this planet. Um, and now I think it says something like "buy a better ship" or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's basically Minecraft, but you don't get to build a house, but you do get to go to different planets that are Earth-sized, and there's 18 quintillion of them. So I would give this game about an 8.9 out of 10. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great but not perfect it could have had like maybe more intelligent life on it that you could talk to or maybe like every five planets there'd be a giant city filled of intelligent life something cool like that but this game is pretty great I would recommend it uh, just get it from Amazon Prime though you'll save ten dollars uh, it's not worth sixty bucks I don't think any game is worth sixty bucks but definitely worth fifty uh, yeah, uh, this has been Video Gamester, which just talked about No Man's Sky for a little bit, and I'm out.